Okay, Canada. I think we'll call this video the evolving approach to full-on fascism in Canada. And let this be a notice that you have been warned. Let's just start with the first. This is, I've saved and bookmarked a few headline articles from our mainstream establishment media in this country. For those of you who pay any attention whatsoever, you already know what I'm going to be discussing. Those of you who are blissfully ignorant or out of the loop, let me uh, indulge in trying to help make you aware of just how far we have sunk in this country into totalitarianism, into fascism, into full-on collectivism and the oppression of the individual, common sense, logic, and reason. As, you, as some of you already know, the Quebec provincial government has already took it upon themselves, the mystical deities, right? The representatives, I should say, of the mystical deity known as government have already said, hey, we're going to steal a billion dollars from the people of Quebec in order to bail out Bombardier, a multinational conglomerate worth billions of dollars. But hey, yeah, they lost four and a half billion through bad investments, bad investments, whatever, whatever reasons they done so. But hey, that's OK. Just like with the banks after the crash, right? After the crash of 2008, just like the banks, just like GM, just like Dodge, just like a lot of ma these big corporations. Ah, uh, we'll just steal from the lowly wage slaves, the serfs in Canada. Well, first it started in Quebec. We'll just steal a billion bucks from them. It'll only be a little bit from each of them. So they won't protest too much. They don't want to be thrown in jail. They don't want to be oppressed even further by speaking out against this. So, hey, we'll steal a billion bucks from them or their future generations. Either way, we don't care, right? Well, now, headline news, Financial Post, Quebec is now asking Ottawa to pitch in another billion dollars for the Bombardier Incorporated bailout. So what they're they're literally admitting. So now the rest of Canada, now it's your turn. Now they want to steal even more, another fucking billion dollars. I mean, think about it. Personal debt, provincial debt, and federal debt, it's all at record levels throughout history. That you in recorded history, we're now at the highest levels of debt ever in recorded history. But yet these mega corporations with people making huge fucking profits, living like kings and queens, but they want the lowly wage serfs, the wage slaves in Canada now, to bail them out once again. And this ain't the first time for Bomb RDA. They've been bailed out multiple times. But this is this is the modern new. This is the new twist on fascism. I mean, they've taken that fucking the old way of doing fascism, and they put a new spin and twist on it to the point where. All the political propagandists will make it so that you don't even fucking know what's going on. And you're so fucking docile and dominated that you won't even barely protest about it. And they know it. Why do you think they do it? They would never even try this shit if they knew the Canadian people have the fucking had the courage or balls to stand up for themselves. But they know you don't. They know you're all just a bunch of fucking wimps. Bunch of losers. Predominantly a lot of parasites. They know that this is the perfect environment to do this shit. And which is why they're doing it. And why they'll get away with it. And people like myself have to sit back and watch this shit happen. Knowing just how fuck they get. Thanks for allowing them to rob me once more Canada. Thanks for allowing these cocksuckers to rob me and my fucking kids. And maybe my future grandkids to pay for these fucking assholes. Thanks a lot you bunch of fucking losers. Pieces of shit. You make me fucking sick. You docile, dominated. You're like, ah, oh, it's just. It's just disgusting. It's just disgusting. Well, let's move on to the next one. That's only the first one. That's only the first in a long fucking line 
of examples of just how oppressed and how fucked up this fascist piece of shit country has become. Next, Toronto Star, a whole big fucking write-up about this. And of course, I mean, most of us, I already know, I'm in the know. It's time for the rest of you to catch up. Most people in jail today are innocent. Canada's crisis of untried prisoners is a problem the former Ontario Attorney General wishes he addressed while in office. Well, you had the opportunity, didn't you? Fuck stick. But of course you didn't. Because like all politicians, you don't give a fuck about the future. You only care about the here and now and getting your little position of power and influence and sitting then on your, resting on your laurels or actually sitting back and collecting fucking your pensions at the, that, that will come as a result of more theft from the taxpayer. But as this, this whole article points out, most people in jail today, the majority of people in jail in Canada today are there on remand. So they haven't even actually been through the trial process at this point in time. They haven't been proven guilty. So we're turning into US 2.0, the police state, as most people must, some well, some people must be recognized by now, except you fucks that cozy up to your big fucking, your political masters. I guess they, they take care of you, right? As long as you stroke their egos, they'll take care of you. But now we're talking, 800 years ago, Magna Carta and all this shit and all this, all, all this whole ideal, this whole concept of innocent until proven guilty, yeah. They're finally acknowledging the fact that it's completely upside down turned inside out you are not presumed innocent in this country until proven guilty no you're fucking guilty and if you're lucky enough or i mean you're guilty the minute any the minute you have any contact with any law enforcement you're fucking guilty you are fucking guilty and the only way in this country that you could ever come out with a result of being innocent is if you got enough money enough power or influence to affect that during the trial process so that the judge gives you a fucking get out of jail free card. That's it. If you don't have that, and I know this firsthand, I have firsthand experience this, so I know exactly what they're talking about. You are fucking guilty. 100%, you're guilty. If they charge you with something, you're fucking guilty. That's it. You don't. There's no presumption of innocence in Canada. Not anymore. One time there was, but there is no such thing now anymore. It's... So forget about even talking about nonsense. If anyone ever tries to tell you that you're presumed innocent until proven guilty in this fucking country called Canada, a.k.a. Kanakistan, it's complete bullshit. It's a lie. No, you're fucking guilty. And if you're lucky or fortunate enough to have enough assets at your disposal, you may be able to convince some of these corrupt motherfuckers to let you off with a slap on the wrist. Anyone outside of that? narrow fucking description no you're guilty you're guilty as fuck and they don't give a shit about you next you're just another number that's it for that particular one next now another thing are you as most people probably know at this stage Ontario the Ontario government which what is it the people that steal from the lowly fucking wage serfs and slaves and large loans to unions so they could buy more shares in hot hydro one IPO so the government after stealing all the money and making and taking it out of private hands uh, the, the, the hydro one in Ontario they now are wanting to sell this like well they put it on the stock market the, the big casino that is the modern stock markets and the Ontario government took taxpayer money to loan to these fucking unions, these fucking public sector. I mean, how communist can you get? This is fucking full on communism. This is exactly what all your fucking grandparents and great grandparents. This is why they died in World War One and World War Two is to fight this shit. But here they are. Oh, yeah, it's rampant today because a lot of you young people have no fucking clue about history. None. And is anyone in school teaching you this? Are your family members teaching you this? No, because they're fucking idiots too. But here we are. Yeah, so the unions, the government, all these cronies, these, these fucking communist slash fascist fucking piece of shit entities. Yeah, now, now they, they, loans. 
mean, you know how that works. Nobody's going to pay it. It's 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 all these corporate, these special interests are gaining and benefiting from stealing from the lowly wage slaves in Canada. Once again, once again. You're fucking you lowly fucking people that go to work every day. You're being forced or your kids or your grandkids, however they want to prolong this bullshit to fucking pay for this nasty, disgusting shit. And some of you, most of you fucks out there that I see, I see it. I see it. Because I'm out around. I see it. You, you're fucking ignorant or, or applauding that shit. You bunch of little fucking order following. You are everything. All that bad shit you heard about after the Nuremberg trials. All about socialism, fascism, and communism. You are that. So don't fucking sit there and try and deride that shit. When you took that to a whole nother level. And you applaud and praise it on a regular fucking basis. You sick motherfuckers. Next, Hydro Run 1 and the reemergence of the Canadian mixed economy. So once again, even Don Pittis, the piece of shit propagandist for the CBC, once again, they even dropped that little line out there once in a while just to make it seem like somebody gives a fuck. But we, as we all know, watch, read the narrative, read the fucking commentary, read the article, and you'll realize they're just twisting and distorting the narrative to try to soften the blow. So you little poor little fox won't know really what's going on. And you'll feel helpless. Yeah, Jesus. If private money won't grow the economy, can government take its place? Well, what does government do? How does government get money? By stealing from the, from the fucking private <laughs> citizens. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh. Next. Well, oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. Public servants shed cloak of impartiality, at least for the day. This is from the Ottawa Citizen. How they're all clamoring and, and fucking praising Justin Trudeau, the new fascist fucking in chief. For fucking, yeah, because he, yeah. Of course the public servants love this guy. He's going to give them everything they want. He's going to steal from you to give all the fucking the parasites in this country even more power, influence, and higher salaries. So of course they love the guy. I mean, what the fuck is there not to love if you're a, if you're a fucking parasite and, and the next asshole in chief decides that he's going to fucking Steal even more from the productive people in Canada to give to these fucking pieces of shit. Well, of course they're happy about it. Who wouldn't be? I personally find it so fucking disgusting and massively disturbing that there's this. I mean, this either most Canadians aren't paying attention, which I really fucking hope that's the case. Please, please. Tell me that most Canadians just don't have a fucking flying fucking clue of what's going on. Then I might at least give some reprise or understanding to the ignorance of you fucks. But if you know what's going on and, and you're just sitting back and allowing this to happen. Oh. What else needs to be said at this point? At this stage. You people are sick. You're fucking vicious. You're vile. Do you not realize that what's going to happen, what's going to come as a result of this shit? Every human being has a breaking point. Every human being. Let me repeat. Every human being has a breaking point. Why do you want to keep pushing them to that edge? I don't know. You're living too much in the here and now. Not even thinking one iota about the future or anyone the fuck else. But I firmly believe, and if I'm proven wrong, which it's going to take a lot if you want to prove me wrong, because that seldom happens. Sorry, I apologize for my confidence in my abilities, but... 
when you have it constantly all the time proven to be when you're constantly all the time proven to be right, you can't help but have a confidence and an air of confidence about you. What 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 can I do? Hate me for it if you want. But when the shit proves when when it proves that I was correct all along, whether I was right is not going to be the fucking big ordeal. It's the results of me being right. Wait till you see what's going to happen to you. Because I'm right. And because you didn't heed my warnings. I feel sorry for some of you fucks. I really do. Because you have no idea. You're you're surfing on in towards the shore. Not even realizing that there's a gigantic tidal wave. Just coming up on your back end. Just coming up behind you. And you're looking ahead with that tunnel vision. Not even recognizing that it's coming. Well. I've tried to warn you. When it hits you. You won't have any excuses. You'll have to fucking. Well. Not like you'll have much to say. Because you'd be dead. But. Once again I'll be proven wrong. Or right. <laughs> Not that I really enjoy that. I'd rather be wrong in this particular incident, in this particular discussion. But it's not going to happen. I'm going to be proven right. And you fucks aren't going to realize it until it happens. And you're willing to wait till then. It's sad. It's a Canadian libertarian. I love liberty. <laughs>